Welcome to the National Air Duct Cleaners Association's video library. We prepared this series of brief videos to inform and to educate. The topic of this video is how your heating and cooling system got dirty. You know, compared to years ago when we heated our homes with wood or coal, a modern home heating and cooling system is really a marvel of efficiency, reliability, and convenience. But just like the old time systems, these new systems get dirty and need to be cleaned and maintained. Now you might be thinking, we keep a really clean home. Shouldn't our ductwork and heating and cooling system be clean too? To answer that question, we have to start by looking at how your heating and cooling system works. Think of your home's heating and cooling system as the lungs of your home. The system pulls air from the rooms of your home through the return ductwork. Then the air passes through the filter before reaching the air handler or furnace, where it is heated or cooled depending on the season. Once the air is heated or cooled, it's blown through the supply ductwork and back into your home. Some of the components in the furnace are used only during heating, others only during cooling, and still others operate all the time. Although the air is filtered, the fact is filters cannot remove all of the contaminants from the air. The system will get dirty through normal use. Return ducts get dirty. Filters get clogged with dirt. The blower gets dirty. The heat exchanger gets dirty. Cooling coils get dirty. The supply ductwork gets dirty. And eventually, this dirt will blow back into your home. So where does dust come from? Well, consider that up to 40 pounds of dust is created each year in the average six-room home. This normal household dust is unavoidable, as it is created by everyday living. Every time we open the door, walk across carpeting, scratch our dry skin, or unroll paper towels, we contribute to airborne dust. Of course, pets and dust admitting activities such as remodeling make the problem worse. In fact, it's not uncommon to find construction dust in a home's heating and cooling system years after the house was built. On average, this contaminated air recirculates throughout your home five to seven times per day. Why does it matter? Well, this can develop into a serious problem. The buildup of these contaminants on components such as blowers and cooling coils can lead not only to unhealthy air for your family to breathe, but also to higher energy bills. These contaminants can cause your system to work harder and run longer, shortening the life of your equipment. Perhaps most importantly, the heating and air conditioning system needs to be cleaned to provide the thermal comfort you expect. So how clean is the heating and cooling system in your home? Here's a quick way to check. Remove a vent cover and use a mirror and flashlight to look inside. Or use a small digital camera to take a picture of the inside of your duct. If your ducts look like this, it's time to call a NADCA member. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this video informative. Remember, your local NADCA member 